It's all a game and you're in the game. You've got to figure out some way to play it. Today, we're going to be talking about why you need to adapt, especially with all the things that are happening in the world right now, because if you don't, you're going to be left behind. And you have to realize that the world is changing a ton and you should be trying to change as much as possible. So if you look back at last year, 2020, it was crazy. And from the looks of it, it doesn't look like 2021 is going to be getting rid of crazy, right? It seems like it's still going to be bringing the crazy around. And, you know, if you're, if you're sitting there and you're waiting for the world to go back to the way that it was, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Stop. And the reason why is because I don't think that it's going to go back to the way that it was. Now, just so you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that it's not going to go back to the way that it was. And it's not something to be afraid of. If I'm being honest with you, it should be something that you should be excited about because there was a lot of stuff that was messed up in our society and the way that we treated humans and the way that everything was set up. And maybe this change that is all happening is changed for the better. And so if you're sitting out there, first off, if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably not the type of person just sit around and wait for, for everything to go back to normal. You're probably the type of person who goes, um, I'm starting to see what the future could look like. And I want to make sure that I am prepared knowing that the future is going to completely change. You know, but what I do want to tell you is, is now is not the time to be sitting back. Now is the time to be adapting because there's so much that's going to be changing in our lifetime. Um, and you know, this is your time to think differently than you ever have before and double down on that thinking different. You know, there's a, a great phrase that says, when people are greedy, be fearful. When people are fearful, be greedy. And that's uh, by Warren Buffett. And that's an, a piece of inv investing advice. But for me, I've decided to take that piece of advice and double down into everything I'm doing, into my business, into hiring people, into growing, into creating more content. You know, if you look back at last year, we were creating three episodes a week. Now we're creating five episodes a week, you know, and, and that requires a lot more investing into what we're doing, into having people to edit stuff, the videos, but then also at the same time to edit, you know, all the podcast audios and everything that we do. But everything in our society is going to start to change, I have a feeling. And if you look at, for instance, I'll give you a perfect example. College is a very good example of things that are changing. I personally don't believe that a system, uh, I, don't, I don't believe that paying into a system that puts you into debt before you ever make money is going to live past my lifetime. Now, I will tell you this. I do think that college is necessary for some professions. Obviously, if you're in the medical field, that's definitely necessary. If you're somebody who's a lawyer, that's definitely necessary. If you're building, you know, engineering and you're building stuff that people are going across bridges or something that they're living in, then obviously college is going to be necessary for those. But college isn't going to be necessary for the majority of professions that are out there. And if you look at some of the biggest companies in the entire world, if you look at Apple, if you look at Google, if you look at Netflix, if you look at Tesla, all of them now don't require a college degree. They don't require a college degree. And so the thing that you have to realize with that being said, is that first off, if you're of the age and you have children, or if, you know, whether they're young or whether they are in college right now, you were raised by somebody. You, you came up in a time when college was necessary for financial success most of the time, right? And your parents came up in a world where it was absolutely necessary to go to college to achieve financial success. I want you to realize this, if, if you're forcing your children or thinking about forcing your children to go to college, I want you to reconsider that. Now, if you are listening to me and you are of the age that you are in college, I want you to, you know, possibly reconsider. I'm not saying that you need to drop out of college. I'm not saying that's absolutely not necessary for everybody. What I'm saying is I think that it's going to be obsolete for the majority of people in the world. Because if you look at everything that's happening, if you look at, at, at college just in general, I was doing research and it costs about, on average, about $20,000 a year to go to college. Now, sometimes it's a little bit less, sometimes it's a little bit more, but it costs about $20,000 for someone to go to college. And if you look at that and you say, all right, $20,000 to go to college, where could that $20,000 be used instead of actually going to college? And so I started thinking about it. I said, all right, if I was to go back to when I was 18, if I was 18 right now in 2021, what would be different for me being 18 in 2004, you know, what the way I was in 2004, is there's massive amounts of difference between the way that it was then and the way it is now. What I would do 
what I would recommend to my children if I had somebody right now, a child, that was thinking about going to college or pursuing other options. What I would do is I would say, hey, the $20,000 that we're gonna, we were gonna be spending on room and board, that we were gonna spend on books, that we we're gonna be spending on tuition, all of the stuff, going back and forth, gas that it's gonna cost you. Why don't we take those $20,000 $20, and why don't we actually have you go out and just try new things? The beautiful thing about right now is that there are many conferences that somebody that's 18, 19, 20 years old can go to, to just completely open their minds to see what's happening in the world, right? And this is a perfect example of something that is changing completely right now and see the other ways that there are to make money. I always say there's a million ways to make a million dollars, you know? And so if someone were to go to, for instance, there's a couple of, of, of really great uh, internet marketing conferences where that people make money online because obviously that's a new realm that wasn't around very much in 2004 when I was younger. So you take it and you look at it and say, okay, if that's the case, I would have my child go to, and I have no, no, no affiliation with these conferences, Funnel Hacking Live, which is one conference, and I'd have them go to Trafficking Conversions, which is another conference. That's probably going to cost between travel, between tickets, probably about $5,000. But you're going to meet people that are making millions and millions and millions of dollars in tons of different ways on the internet. It could be e-commerce, it could be coaching, it could be, you know, um, there's people I know that sell cars online. There's people I know that sell so many different things online. There's so many ways to make money online. Well, then I would say, okay, that's a pretty good way for you to see how the world is starting to shift. Another great thing about that as well is you're going to meet people and, you know, because one of the things that people say with college is, oh, well, you get to go and meet new friends. You get to see how the world works. You know, you get to meet new friends here and you get to find new friends and start to, to see what they do. But also at the same time, you can find mentors. If I was 18 years old, if I was young, so for those of you guys that have children that are around that age, or if you are around that age, what I would personally do if I was young, I would go and I would find somebody who was making money in the way that I want to make money, whatever that is. And I would say, listen, I want to become an intern. I'll work for you for free. And if they want to pay me, they can pay me. But if they say, hey, you know what, let's work for free. I'll work for free if I need to. All I want to do is get close to that person see how they make money, see how they run their business, see how they run their lives, what their habits are, what their traits are, and start to learn directly from them. So this is a perfect example of if I were to do that at 18 years old now, I think that that would be much better than going to college because you can either go to school and you can learn from someone who's learning from a book, or you can learn from someone who's actually doing the thing that you want to. So there's ways to make money online. Everything is going digital. And so the reason why I'm saying this is because once again, not to put any fear into people, but to make people realize the world is changing at massive amounts and massive rates. We might as well try to keep up with it, right? If you look at everything that's happening with AI, the world's completely changing. Do you know any, do you have any idea of what's happening with AI? Have you looked into it? Can you research it? You know, if you look at blockchain and Bitcoin and Ethereum and all of that stuff, you look at it and you go, man, that's uh, it's a disruptor. If something's coming in to disrupt, whether it is going to be here or not going to be here, it's good for you to know about into research and to see what's going on. You know, um, another great thing that I would that I would say that people should do that that's not taught in school. I would research on number one, how to make money like we're talking about. We've been talking about that for most of the episode. And number two, once you get money, what do you do with that money? Here's the thing that's crazy that people don't think about. Once you get money, you need to figure out number one, what to do with the money. Number two, how to keep the money. And number three, how to make sure the money grows. Because I'm gonna tell you this, if you're just keeping your money inside of a bank account with the amount of money, that, at least if you're in the United States, with the amount of money that was printed last year in the past 12 months, 40% of the dollars that have ever existed are now, were just printed in the last 12 months. What that means is when there's more dollars in circulation, the value of the dollar goes down. So majority of people don't know this though. They don't know that there's something going on. They don't know that money just came from absolutely nowhere and our government decided to, to put it out there. Now, once again, this is not to make you fearful. It's to make you go, all right, how can I hedge my bet against what the government's doing, against what everything happening in society? And how can I make sure that I stay on top of it so that my money that's in a bank account that I've been working really hard my entire life to make is not worth less? So if you have you know, $10,000 in a bank account, in the next couple of years, that's going to be worth way, way, way less than $10,000. You could still have that $10,000, but that $10,000 is not going to be worth the exact same as it is now. And so what you start doing is you start saying the world is changing. There's new ways to learn online. 
take courses from people who know exactly, you know, who are in the exact industry that you want to be in, right? If you want to do something online, you can literally, like if you want to, if you think back to literally 15 years ago, if you wanted to be in film, you'd have to go to college. You'd have to learn from people who are in film. Right now, you can literally learn film for free on YouTube. And if you want to pay extra, you can pen, spend a thousand bucks on a course and learn from someone who's making some really badass stuff online about their lighting, about their setup, about how they edit things. You can learn directly from them. That used to be a $60,000 degree 15 years ago. You can learn for free or up to a thousand, couple thousand bucks, right? Think about that. If you want to start a coaching business, you can literally learn from someone who already has a coaching business of exactly how to set up a coaching business and you can make a hundred thousand dollars this year and you don't even have to go to college for it, right? There's so many different ways that you can learn online and you can learn of what's going on. And what I'm saying is there's so much shift that's going on. Are you trying to stay ahead of the curve or at least in line with the curve, right? Because if you're sitting back going, well, you know, I'm, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I'm going to, I'm going to go to college or I'm going to send my children to college and we're going to see what happens with this Bitcoin and this Ethereum. We're going to see what happens with this AI and all of the, the artificial intelligence and just wait and see what happens. I would recommend against that. I would recommend by going, there seems to be disruptors in the market. There seems to be things that are going on. The world is changing very quickly. I want to stay on top of how it's changing. And this is super important because everything is changing in my opinion. Once again, it's not a bad thing. In my, if I'm being honest with you, I think that it's actually really exciting. You know, we're starting to learn how to, about all of the, the, the things that our government's been doing behind the scenes. We're starting to learn about how bad governments have been for years. We're starting to realize that, you know, how people have been treated in certain areas and how they've been kept down. We're starting to learn about all the things that have been happening behind the scenes. And when things start to change, it can look like chaos in the beginning. But what I'm here to tell you is that it's not going to be chaos. What happens if, if there's something wrong in the body, the body's got to get rid of that thing. That's, that's, you know, I'll give you a perfect example, right? Let's say that, let's say that you drink too much alcohol. We've all done that before, right? Let me give you a really odd example. that just popped in my head. You drink too much alcohol one night. What happens? Your body has to do what? It has to get rid of it. And so it gets rid of it however it possibly can because there's a problem in the system. And then once it's rid of it, well, then your body's in a much better situation. We're basically going through the purging right now section of all of the bad things, of all of the things that don't make any sense, of all the things that are using people, of all the things that are overcharging people that don't make the price of college and all of that stuff. You can get a online education. I'm not talking about like an on, I'm not talking about like going to DeVry University or anything like that. An online education that you decide to make yourself and you can learn way more for way cheaper and make more money right now. And if you're 45 years old and you've got a family and you're an engineer, but you're just tired of that shit and you don't want to do it anymore. And you're like, but I don't know if I can do it. I don't know what's going on with the whole situation. What you have to realize is this, what you have to realize is that it's changing like crazy. You have to be in charge of what's going through the change and you have to be in charge of your own life. So if you're sitting there and you're going, okay, I'm 45 years old. I'm an engineer. I don't want to be an engineer anymore. I really would like to start my own e-commerce business and sell something online. Or, you know, maybe your wife makes amazing jewelry and you want to figure out how to sell that online. The cool thing is you can figure out how to do that today and start investing into do it. Maybe, and what's cool about it, I've seen people do it where it's like, maybe you're an engineer, you're making $70,000 a year. You got a family, all that stuff. I'm not saying leave your engineering, engineering company, but maybe what you do is you go, you know what? My wife's really good at jewelry. She's really good at design. I really want to learn how to build an e-commerce business. Maybe at nights and on the weekends, we start looking into how to run an e-commerce business, how to run a jewelry company, how to start making shirts, how to start doing all of this stuff. Maybe we make it, we put it on Etsy, we start a, a Shopify store and we start selling these things. And you might start off small. You might make 500 bucks in a month, a thousand bucks a month, 2000 bucks in profit. But that little bit of profit ends up being a lot in the longer. And you say, you know what? We're making pretty decent money on the side out here. What if we were to really double down it? What if we were to really try to not only learn how to make the best jewelry and the best t-shirts we possibly can, but what if we were to really learn how to master the art of selling things online? And the first year might look 
pretty decent. You might make a little bit of profit. Second year will be better. Third year will be even better. Fourth year, fifth year, that's when things usually start to explode in businesses. And you might look back in five years from today because you decided to keep up with the change. You decided to adapt. You might be able to leave your engineering job that you don't want to be at right now because you decided to start a business with you and your wife and you're making more money than you were at your engineering, but you're doing something that you love. And you're doing something that's amazing. That is an opportunity that is fully available to every single person that's listening to me right now. You don't have to go to college if you don't want to. If you want to, go. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. You don't have to work for somebody else. You don't have to work a nine to five. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to be be a slave to somebody else and tell them what what to do with your money. You don't have to, you know, have a, a Roth IRA and just have your money, just see what happens in the stock market. No, I always think that the best thing for you to do is instead of taking your extra money and investing it into the stock market, first off, invest it into yourself. And if you have a business, invest it into your business because there is nothing that will give you better ROI. No business out there will give you better ROI than your own personal business and investing into it. So the moral of the story is this change is coming, change is happening. I don't think it's ever going to go back to normal, but I don't think that's a bad thing. If it starts to give you anxiety, well, that's something you need to check out. It's not something to be anxious about. What's anxiety, what's probably giving you anxiety is that you want to stay the same. You don't want things to change. And you're thinking, I don't know if it's ever going to go back and it probably won't. But the beautiful thing about that is that if you stay on top of what's going on, if you decide, you know what, I want to learn about how to make money online. I want my kids to learn about how to make money online. I want to learn a little bit more about blockchain and Bitcoin and see what the hell's going on over here. Maybe it's going to be around in a few years. Maybe it won't. But I do think that the whole system that is being built is going to be around. It. It's going to shift up a lot of stuff and it's going to change. Everything's going digital. You know, uh, learn what to do with your money once you start making money. It's all a game and you're in the game, you've got to figure out some way to play it, right? That's the thing that you have to realize is that it's it, it, life is basically life and money and uh, your job and everything that you do. It's, it's all just a, a big game. And you're in the game, whether you want to learn how to play it or not. But since you're in it, shouldn't you at least try to figure out how it works and how to get better at it? Because everything's a changing. And if you're not changing with it, you're going to be left behind. So the biggest tip that I could give you with all of the things happening, start learning about what's going on, start thinking differently, start adapting. And I promise you, you won't be left behind and you'll be ahead of the curve. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. So if you're at a job that you hate, it is a complete, absolute waste of your life.